Hi guys, and welcome to another vlog. the first week of January. It is the new year. It's the first video that I'm posting as a new mom. So yeah, I'm just going to bring you along um, through the week and give you a little update on what we're up to. So <laughs> coming at you with the hot mess that is going on right now. We just got back from a walk. I think I just barely put a brush through my hair. Haven't really styled it. Um, Baby girl's still in her stroller from her walk. Can you say hello to everyone? Yeah, can you say hello? Okay. Binky's our best friend. Um, just replying to some emails and ordering some stuff that I need for a video coming up. So I have this fun collaboration like campaign video um, coming up in the next couple of weeks and normally when it is um, like a collab video I like try and like really stick to you know like the guidelines and make it like a sit down video um, but this one I really want to kind of change it up I feel like obviously my life is different um, with a newborn just obviously my life in many ways just needs to be way more flexible and more, way more laid back. Um, and that's going to be reflected in my content and um, in my videos. So uh, basically I just want it to be more, you know, just chill and realistic. So I had this idea, I ran it by the brand and they're happy with it. So um, yeah, ordering some stuff for, you know, to create the content for that video. So I'm out of the house <laughs> for, I think the second time in a whole month. Um, I always thought like, oh, once I have a baby, like um, having like a chance to get out will be like so refreshing and nice. And I'm exhausted and <laughs> I just got in the car. But yeah, we need a few things from Target. So I'm going to do that. Adam asked if, if I wanted him to to do it for me, but I do feel like I need to get out of the house. Support. Yeah, I feel like I need to get out of the house. We did get a nice walk in this morning. She's fed and so she's good for like another two hours. So yeah, be back for another round of feeding. Um, I got this uh, brow sculpt brush. One of those like double ended. I actually didn't want the that end, but um, it was about time I replaced mine. Um, I also got this Laura Mercier, but it's also like a glowy. Um, it's called Light Catch, and it's the Honey Star. Is the they it comes in like three shades, and basically it has a little bit of a super fine milled shimmer as you set your makeup. So. It's probably not for like under eyes, but like cheek area or something I feel like could be really nice. And then I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I tried this years ago and everyone was like in love with it and I just wasn't a fan. But I think it's because I had oily skin and so now since I don't, I feel like I might love this. And I've never heard anyone really talk about this, but the same Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk uh, Concealer. I'm assuming if the foundation is so great, maybe the concealer is amazing. I'm forever out looking for the perfect concealer. I've been using the Sharp, <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape for years. And I don't know, I just want something new. I also got one of these little powder puffs. I've been wanting one and I never ever seen it in the store. Finally saw it today, so it's my lucky day. And then I got this all s last item, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, um, it's the Nude Gasm Face Palette, and 
Um, I couldn't, I thought it was eyeshadows, but it had a really beautiful, like, bronzy color. And it also has, like, some contouring kind of shades. The reason why I got it, because I didn't really contour my face that much anymore. I don't know. Do people still do it? I don't know. I mean, like, I bronze my face, but I don't really contour. But anyway, I feel like all the colors were so beautiful that they will double as an eyeshadow. And that's why I got it. So... Thank you posted on how I love these, but yeah, now it's been almost an hour and I miss my baby. She'll probably be waking up really soon and really hungry, so yeah, see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, it is the next day. It's actually New Year's and we're New Year's Eve. Um, and since we have a baby and we're not doing anything crazy later, we decided to come to one of our favorite Japanese restaurants for lunch slash brunch slash dinner. We've got the baby. Got the big baby. Me? That's always on his phone. Yeah, I'm trying to plan our exciting evening of nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this place is like super hard to get into, and I think the last time we were here for like official dinner was for Valentine's Day, and then we got pregnant shortly after that. Here we are, nine months later. What is your peak and pit of the year? Well, the peak is me, obviously. <laughs> Peek is right there. Oh. Is she peeking? <laughs> she was peeking. Is she peeking? <laughs> Thank you. But oh, then I guess this becomes. Can I water your tea cloth? Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. So this makes it a, a depressing conversation if we just sit here and talk about the, the pit. But what's your pit? The fact that we're still dealing with the Omicroning. shitty state of the world, but, you know. That's true. And we can't travel anywhere. Right. And we can't. Where did we go this year? We went to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii. We didn't go to LA. We didn't do anything. We went to Hawaii. It's the only, the only. That's more than last year. Last year we didn't fly. We went to LA last year, but we drove. Yeah, we didn't fly last year. So this year we didn't drive anywhere, but we flew to Hawaii one time right before shit hit the fan again. So we yeah. kind of got like a, we got like a two two week freebie and then, yeah, yeah, back to lockdown basically. And Hawaii was crazy. It was like, everything was locked down. So that was impossible too. Yeah, it's not the same even when you do not travel. The same. Soup. A lot of soup, not eaten elegantly. That's true. I don't think you can eat ramen elegantly. No. I just left the bamboo shoots, which I don't think belongs in ramen. 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 Who says, ramen. This is ramen. We had a very, very low key New Year's Eve. Um, obviously, as being new parents to a one month old. There wasn't like much we could do. We actually, one of our close friends was um, going to be hosting a like fun, chill house party. And then just because of like COVID and like, um, like the new variant, they decided to like cancel last minute. So we were just really chill at home and, and we just had another couple um, come over and we had a glass of champagne at midnight and that was it. So we are slowly adjusting into you know, our new schedule and our new normal with having a baby. 
Um, one thing that I like really wanted to establish from the beginning was like a schedule and I realized that with the newborn there's they, they kind of just eat and sleep as they please and there's not really a way to really create a schedule yet so I'm just embracing that going with it um, obviously the sleep part is difficult and the way we're doing it now is um, still kind of sticking to our late bedtime um, and then like feeding her like right before we go to bed and then have a middle of the night feeding. Adam normally does that because then the following feeding I need to get up and pump um, and feed her and change her the whole cycle all over again. Um, so I, I've been getting a lot of questions like on Instagram and stuff on like what I've decided to do feeding wise. Um, eventually I might do a video more in depth in like my more in depth uh, like birth story. I did put up a birth vlog already, um, but like really like going over like all the details if that is at all interesting to you guys. Um, I know that like a couple of weeks before um, I went in to have her, I feel like those videos were really helpful to me. But yeah, if that's at all interesting to you, I'm happy to do a video on that. Um, but basically, she latched on right away. She was like 30 minutes old and she latched. Um, and But I think I made the mistake of when I was nursing her, um, I would do like 45 minutes on each boob and then my nipples were bleeding <laughs> so um so i had no idea what i was doing and even though the lactation consultants were all like so helpful they didn't realize that i was doing that and that was a big mistake so then i was afraid of oh my gosh if i like bottle feeder um is she like not going to latch again um so we did sms feeding which is like assisted feeding through like a, like a syringe essentially but like still while they're at the breast and it's, you have like a nipple shield. Anyway, like I don't think anything has ever given me more <laughs> anxiety in life. Um, I just, the third time that I just like sat with her and cried, um, it was just so stressful because I could tell that she like wanted more and she wanted to latch. Um, and it just felt so unnatural that I was just like, oh my gosh, bottle feeding would be so much easier. And, um, about two days later, my like full milk came in and then I was like, this is miraculous. This is amazing, especially as a first time mom. So I was like, you know what? I'm going full throttle and doing this breastfeeding thing. Um, again, my nipples were still healing. So that was really difficult. And then, um, I started pumping in the hospital and that was a godsend and that's what I've been doing since. So I'm exclusively pumping occasionally in the morning, especially when I have like more milk coming in, she will latch and she'll be like, you know, feed completely. Um, but other times, um, if she's like really hungry and she like latches and realizes that milk doesn't come as fast as it does from a bottle, um, she gets really upset. So I'm just, as long as she gets the breast milk for a couple of months, I'm happy. Um, my goal right now is to do three months. Um, but it's really hard in trying to work at the same time as, you know, um, because it's a full-time job. <laughs> anyway, that is the mommy update. And in order to just feel sane and feel normal and still feel like myself, we've been trying to do, um, a couple of, uh, just like date nights, um, where we, you know, bring her along with us. Um, she is a great baby overall. Like I think she's quite easy. Of course, it's a massive change because you know, we're not used to taking care of anyone else, but our dog. So, um, but yeah, the, the occasional going out has been really helpful, like for mental health, um, and just feeling like we, you know, we can do this. So yeah. I'm going to leave you here. This is the first mommy vlog and update. So yeah, hopefully we feel like we've got the hang of this a little bit more next time. But um, I keep hearing that 
every every time you feel like you've got it like a new stage starts so <laughs> just here to embrace it all and um go along with it all right guys thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one